Hey guys, it's Jim from Illustrator How. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will talk about the blending modes in Adobe Illustrator and how to use them. So if that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching this video. All right, so before we jump into the steps of how to use the blending mode in Adobe Illustrator, I think you should first get an idea of what is the blending mode in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, so the official explanation is, the blending mode in Adobe Illustrator determines how different hues of colors interact with various objects or layers underneath them. But my version is blending mode in Adobe Illustrator allows you to blend the color of a selected object or group or layer with the color of the underlying object or image. Well, that might sound a little bit confusing, but anyways, uh, you will get a better idea when I show you how it works. So if you don't know where to find the blending mode, you can find the blending mode when you select the object from the opacity option under the properties panel and uh, appearance panel. So you can click on the opacity and you will see the blending modes here. And this is actually uh, the transparency panel. Yeah. So otherwise you can also go to the overhead menu window uh transparency and open the transparency panel you can see the same option here these are the blending modes options so they are well except for normal which nothing changes you have 15 options of the blending mode so i'm going to show you what each one looks like so usually you will select the image on top and start changing the blending mode so i'm going to select this object which is on top and I'm going to change the blending mode to darken. So what darken means is that uh, you will see the overlapping areas blend into the darker color. So since the darker color is the color on top, you don't see any changes at this point. So for example, if I change the position, I'm going to arrange this on top. Well, I'm going to go back to normal. And if I arrange this object on top, and if I choose darken again, you will see that the overlapping area uh, blends into the darker area, which is uh, the darker pink. Okay, so let's try another option. Now I'm going to choose uh, multiply. You do see a difference here. So when you choose multiply, it darkens the overlapping parts as it blends or multiplies the base color by the blend color. Then let's see the next option, color burn. When you choose color burn, it darkens the base color to reflect the bent color. So the first three options, they all darken the overlapping color. All right, so let's keep going with the options. I'm not going over all the definition of the blending options. So if you are interested, I do have an article and a step-by-step -step guide where I talk about uh, what each option means in detail. So if you are interested, you can find a link to my blog in the description below. And uh, yeah, you can see, like I really explained what each option means with examples. And then I also show you the steps to uh, change the blending mode in Adobe Illustrator. But anyways, I will finish showing you uh, how each option looks. So we were in, uh, yeah, color burn. And this one, let's do lighten. This is what all the blending options looks like and it really depends on the image and the color you choose sometimes you do have to play with it a little bit to get the best result and besides uh, using it on vector object you can also use a blending mode on a raster image in adobe illustrator okay so hope that now you already know more about the blending modes in adobe illustrator and how to use them if you find this video helpful don't forget to give me a thumb up and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future tutorials if you want to learn more about illustrator basics i do have a course where i talk about everything from workspace to more advanced stuff like uh, logo design typography design and uh, how to find a job as a beginner graphic designer 